Hello, and welcome back. I want to show you some projects I've been working on. This motor platform is a single bobbin, dual coil air core. It was printed in PLA and is designed to be driven by this Bedini style printed circuit board, which I've been testing for a few months now. Notice the neon bulb firing, indicating the presence of 90 plus volts. As I tune the potentiometer and increase resistance to the transistor base, the frequency increases along with output voltage shown on the multimeter. Let's take a closer look at the circuit. Everything is clearly labeled. Two base resistor blocks for tuning. Drive and trigger coils are marked. Generator mode. This is Bedini mode. I have enough PCBs to start selling these on my new website I'm making. Redesign3dp.com I'm thinking $40 is a fair price for my time and expertise. Let me know in the comments if you would be interested in getting one. They will be complete and in a tray like the one with four mounting holes. You can hook these up to anything with at least two rotor magnets and a bifiler coil. Not bad output. The LED is a standard AC 14 watt, 120 volt bulb. Adding a capacitor will smooth out the ripple. Every part of this design perfectly fits together. I have ceramic magnets on the rotor. Eight poles of double stacked magnets create a nice flywheel effect, making it hard to stop the rotor shaft. That toggle switch allows for Bedini mode or generator mode, with the center position to show high voltage. This circuit is designed for ruggedness. The only thing that failed in my testing is the transistor, which is easily switched out. I am running a 3055, but you could add any NPN you wish. Don't mind my annoyingly weird AI voice, it serves a purpose. Here is a custom cap dump K energy made for me. You can switch out the caps. On generator mode, I'm dumping one amp every second at 20 volts. To show you the versatility of this circuit, I'll hook it up to a Newman style frame. I use a small 4 watt incandescent and a 25 watt 10k ohm pot to tune. When you find the best resistance, you can insert a resistor across both base terminals. Not bad output, driving a 14 watt bulb using 2.7 volts. Thanks for watching.